Well, first of all, I would like to mention what is something Japanese. First of all, it's the logo, logo itself. It's a kind of a knot made of Japanese rope, and it is called Mizuhiki and made of uh, paper. And uh, another thing is the uh, names of the sub camps. They are from uh, Japanese mountains all over, from north to south. I think that I think also has to do with the food that we are taking here. The chopsticks, I mean, it's something new to most of us. The weather, it's not an exception. I'm from Africa. Yes, this weather is a bit humid, though I'm used to hot you know, weather, but this is quite humid. Um, I think that the friendship, the greetings. You meet the Japanese, the way they greet, we are almost learning the same thing. And then uh, some people say, how much degree we have to bow, and, but we actually have those three types of uh, bows. We learn them at home, and uh, you know, uh, 15 degree, 20 degree, or 45 degree. It, it depends on how much, uh, uh, how, how much res respect do you want to show to the other person. Because we meet each other and we are, we just bow and greet each other. So I think it's very good. Yeah. In the Jamboree, I noticed so many things that Japanese people use the chopsticks and also uh, boing and also, yes, uh, giving a business card. But everything is cultural for me. Just because Japanese people respect each other uh, from Asian, from Asian, or but so it's cultural. It's a mana. It's like a mana. So not the special things.